All right, today our viewer has asked, can cancer progression be slowed by switching to a whole food plant-based diet? Well, that's an ultimately important question, especially if you've got a cancer. And the answer with little qualification is yes, absolutely. And the mechanism is known. Now, known is saying that you switch to whole food plant-based diet, and all cancers are magically going to melt away. But at the core of this answer is a molecule called, it's a protein called insulin light growth factor one, IGF-1. This is a remarkable molecule that your liver produces in response to a meal containing lots of protein, especially meat and dairy products. When you eat a piece of meat or consume dairy products, uh, the proteins, the amino acids flood through the liver and the liver responds. Now, all these building blocks uh, are, are coursing through the liver and the liver says, let's do something with them. And in response, it puts out a, a surge of this protein IGF-1. And that gives the message to all the tissues in the body, grow, grow, uh, don't, uh, don't die. Uh, the, the normal process of apoptosis where cells normally you know, kill themselves off, IGF-1 stops that and it keeps cells growing and multiplying and getting bigger. And that's great if you're a growing eight-year-old boy or girl, you want lots of IGF-1. But if you're someone with a malignant tumor in your breast or your prostate or your colon, the last thing you want is a surge of IGF-1 because it fans uh, the growth of the cancer. Well, it has been well documented that when people adopt a whole food, plant-based diet, lots of beans and greens and fruits and vegetables, one noticeable effect is IGF-1 levels plummet. And that's good for lots of reasons and breast lumps and fibroids and all of that and big prostate glands, they benefit, but it's been absolutely well shown that many cancers, not all, but many cancers really respond to that decreased level of IGF-1. And it's one of the best things to do to, uh, to slow down the cancer growth. And so when people who have cancer hear from their friends and relatives, oh, you gotta eat, you gotta eat, because they're so afraid of that image of the cancer patient wasting away in this condition called cachexia, and they just turn into a skeletal remnant of themselves. So people say, oh, eat, eat, you need lots of meat, lots of dairy, lots of ice cream, get those calories in. Little do they know their well-meaning advice is really jacking up that person's IGF-1 levels and actually making their cancer grow more quickly. So a whole food plant-based diet, although those beans and greens and salads and soups, that's the best medicine for cancer, along with appropriate cancer therapies that the oncologists offer. But absolutely, uh, get on that whole food plant-based train and drop those IGF-1 levels, and there's a good chance your cancer is going to respond very favorably. Very important question. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.